Hi there. This is the Alec Hein Chatard theme trap in a type of irregular French in which white executes a delightful mating combination. E4 is met by E6, the French defense, and after D4, D5, white defends the pawn on E4 with knight C3, and black goes for the classical defense with knight F6. Bishop G5 develops a piece and pins the knight on F6, and black immediately breaks the pin with bishop e7. White could push the pawn onto e5, but can take first on f6. And after bishop takes f6, again white could push e5 immediately, but knight f3 first is also a fine alternative. After black castles, now the pawn goes to e5, sending the bishop back to e7, and bishop d3 will invariably be met by the typical French move c5, chipping away at white's small but infuriating center. But here we're looking at an inferior move, bishop d7 first by black, allows white to play h4, uh, the Alec Hein Chatard theme. Black could continue with h6, or f6 is still okay for black, a typical French move hitting at the e5 pawn. But this allows white to go for a pretty sacrificial line. First, knight g5 offers up that knight, that piece. Black need not take it. It could play f5, which closes off the diagonal, since the h7 pawn was being targeted. If instead black goes for that piece, then he's busted. It's game over. f takes g5. Not now the immediate h takes g5, but better is a second piece sacrifice. Bishop takes on h7, since after king takes takes on h7, now h takes on g5, wins white that important tempo, takes back with check. The king's driven back to g8, and what's interesting now is the obvious queen h5 is actually uh, incorrect, and black will be doing okay after bishop takes on g5. White doesn't have mate here, as the king is going to be able to zigzag his way out of trouble. So going back, rather than queen h5, the winning line here is a third sacrifice of the rook on h8, rook h8, check. Because now, if king takes on h8, he has nothing better. Now queen comes to h5 again with a tempo, hitting the king. And the king goes to g8. Now g6 shuts off the f7 square and protects h7 for the queen to administer checkmate. All black has is to provide another flight square for the king on f8 by moving the rook. Rook e8 is going to be met by queen h7, check. And after king f8, queen h8 is checkmate. So this has been the Alec Hein Chatard theme trap in a type of irregular French. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.